Now, balancing out your omega-6 to your omega-3 fats can be a bit complex. So I'm gonna show you a real simple way to do it. But why do you need to do it? Well, because we have a big problem now with people that are getting way too much of the omega-6 fatty acids and definitely not enough of the omega-3 fatty acids. The ideal ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids should be one to one. The average person in America is like 20 to one because take a look at the seed oils. That's 70 to one. Potato chips, 60 to one. Grains, 20 to one. Chicken, 17 to one. Grain-fed beef, nine to one. And then we have the grass-fed beef, which is only two to one. Then we have pasture eggs. Look at this, three to one, but commercial eggs, 29 to one. Why? Because they're eating the grains. Okay, then we have leafy greens, one to one. Wild game is three to one, and fish is one to one. So what is so bad about these omega-6 fatty acids? Well, one thing, among many other things, is that the omega-6 fatty acids can invade your cell membranes and be part of your cell membrane, okay? So this, this double layer of fat in your cell membranes is vitally important, especially in the cerebral cortex, in the retina, in the testes, and even sperm. And so the richest source of DHA, which is an omega-3 fatty acids, is in your cerebral cortex of your brain, the part of the brain that helps you think and make logical decisions, and supposedly it does a lot of other things, and the, but the retina too, the retina needs this DHA. You have a lot of DHA in your retina, and the testes, and the sperm. So if you're deficient in omega-3 fatty acids, so your, your brain's not gonna work that well, okay? You're not gonna be able to see as well. You're not gonna be able to produce testosterone as much, and you're probably gonna be infertile. But other than that, you're perfectly fine. With too much omega-6 and not enough omega-3, your red blood cells become stiff, okay? They cannot travel and bend and get through the capillaries. And so they plug things up. Your blood becomes thicker. You become more obese, especially with your visceral fat. You develop insulin resistance and diabetes. Omega-6 is very pro-inflammatory. So you're going to have more inflammation and more risk for thrombus, which is a clot. There's more of a tendency to get a vasospasm in your coronary artery, which leads to a heart attack. And there's definitely more vasoconstriction. Okay, the simplest way to solve this problem is just to increase your omega-3 fatty acids. Because if you just cut down the omega-6 fatty acids without increasing the omega-3 fatty acids, it's not going to work. So I would start by just increasing your omega-3, make it simple. You have a couple choices. You can either do fish oil or cod liver oil. The advantage of cod liver oil is that you not only get the omega-3 fatty acids, but you also get additional vitamin A and vitamin D. But of course, in addition to this, I would also recommend several other things like number one, replace your salad dressings with olive oil. Now be careful when you buy olive oil um, at the grocery store because there's a lot of fake olive oil. I would say 80% of all the olive oil sold, especially the cheap stuff is fake. When you taste olive oil, it should have a very distinct taste that uh, gives a little tickle in the back of your throat when you consume it. It shouldn't be bland because the fake olive oil is basically just canola oil or a corn oil or some other oil that we're trying to get rid of. So that's just a, a point about that. Number two, when you're at a restaurant, uh, don't consume any of the fried foods simply because they're gonna use corn oil, canola, cottonseed oil, um, what else, uh, soy oil, things like that. So I'd really make sure that the food that I get at a restaurant is does not have any of that stuff. Number three, Consume fatty fish like salmon at least twice per week. Number four, make sure your meats and things are grass fed because the grain fed will just throw off your omega-6 to omega-3 ratios. Okay, number five, limit chicken. Out of all the meats, chicken has the most omega-6 fatty acids. But it's interesting because um, they will tell you, oh, eat more like, white meat, you know, from chicken and uh, turkey, They're, it's lean. 
and eliminate the red meat, right? Because that's the problem. No, 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 it's the chicken that is the problem. And then of course, uh, really limit your grain-fed animal products. If you're gonna consume nuts, uh, eat more walnuts because walnuts have, have ALA. That converts into omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA. All right, there you have it, the simple way to fix this racial problem. I think a really good video for you to watch next would be on the one on olive oil. Check it out, I put it right here.